So he's number 36. He has 50 guesses to find his box. So he'll find his number 36 and open the box. And he'll go to this 45 and open that box. And he'll go to 37 and open that box. And then the 51 to that box, 40 opens that box. This says go to 35, 59, 82. This says open 99, 99 says 86, 86 says 79, 79 goes to 71, 71 goes to 56, and 56 says 36. So we found it. And here's the loop that it took right here. It was a 14 step loop. Using this method, he shifted his probability not of the probability of choosing his card at random, but it's now the probability that he is in a loop of less than 50 numbers. And this probability happens to also be 50%. But if we look at this group as a whole, now using this strategy, instead of the probability of success being random, it's going to be the probability that every prisoner's number is in a loop of less than 50 numbers. And this probably ends up being around 31%. It's a fascinating situation where the individual's probability is the same, but the groups can be greatly improved. It works because they're no longer independent events like before. Now everyone's success depends simply on the breakdown of the loops in the boxes. They will still lose around 69% of the time because 69% of the time there will be a loop with greater than 51 numbers. So it isn't a foolproof plan, but it is way better than 8 times 10 to the negative 31.